Hi, my name is Gustav and welcome to the Tukitoof channel. Today we will have a lot of fun playing around with Lego figures. We are going to create our first stop motion short film using Tukitoof Desk. So, what are we waiting for? Let's do it! In our previous Tupi Tip, we talk a little about the stop motion, but this time we are going to get in deep into this animation technique with a little help from my 9 years old friend Thomas and his father Herman. But let's start from the beginning. What are we going to need to develop our first stop motion short film? Ok, let's do the list. We will need either a desktop computer or a laptop, or software Tupi Tube Desk already installed. Don't forget that it's free. A webcam. You can use the one that usually comes built in at your computer monitor. But if you have an external webcam, the experience will be even better. And finally, you will need all the Lego figures you want to include in your movie. In our case, Thomas is a Lego fan, so we will use several characters from his collection. Feel free to use your favorite Lego set to practice this exercise. Are you ready to start? Ok, let's make a short summary of the steps we need to follow from here. Step 1. Planning. Before starting the production process of your short film, it's important to define the story you want to tell. As this is our first movie using this technique, we are going to start with something simple and short. Don't try to think of a complex plot. Just have in mind to describe a basic situation that you can tell in two or three scenes, including the characters and the other elements that you will need for your movie. In our case, we called our short film Rescue Squad. The story is about a helicopter pilot which suffers an accident while he is trying to take off his machine. Then he asks for help and a rescue squad, including a huge truck, goes to support him. And that's it. As you get more experience working on stop-motion shorts, you will be able to develop longer movies. So don't push yourself with a complicated story if this is your first time. Step 2. Set the stage. Now that we have an idea about our story and about the scenes, it's time to create the stage for our movie. To make it easier, we are going to use a huge table as the stage setting our main LEGO characters and all the complementary objects on the specific places we need them to develop every scene. In our case, we are going to work on three different scenes, using the same stage distribution but changing the camera position for each scene. Don't forget to set your computer close to the stage, and plug your webcam in case you have an external device as we do. Step 3 Lights, camera, action! Ok, we are ready to start creating the frames required for our first scene. So let's take a look to the TubiTube -tube Desk interface so we can learn how to use its stop motion module. The first step you need to take is to create a new project. Then you have to click the camera icon from the left toolbar at the workspace. A first dialog will show up asking you for the resolution you want to use for your project. In our case, we will choose the 800x600 pixels resolution. Don't forget to check the option Resize my project to fit camera resolution. Note: If you have a computer with low resources, we recommend you to check the option Use the basic camera interface. Next, click the OK button. Then, a window will pop up containing a display showing your webcam view in real time and a side toolbar with several options. From this point, you will be able to adjust the webcam position to the angle or perspective you want to use for your first scene. Now, let's talk about the side toolbar features. The first button at top with the camera icon is the one we will use to take every shot of our stop motion movie understanding that every picture taken will be a frame of our timeline. Think of this button as our camera trigger. The second button allows you to rotate the view of your webcam 180 degrees. 
This feature is only useful in case your webcam display appears upside down, so you can fix it. The third button will display a visual reference of your webcam view area. This resource is also known as Safe Area. Think of it as an optional guide that helps you to align your characters into the center of the scene while you are manipulating them. The fourth button provides a feature similar to the previous one. In this case, we are talking about a grid, which is another complementary guide that helps you to reference and to align the movements and the trajectories of your characters. From this feature, you can pick the color of the grid and its separation width. Notice that either the safe area as the grid feature are optional visual resources that you can combine any time you wish. The fifth button will allow you to see some of the previous pictures you already have taken directly from the webcam display. This is another handy resource that you can use to review the previous positions of your characters, so you can adjust the net's movements with high precision. From this feature, you can choose how many previous frames you want to see, and set the transparency factor you want to use for them. Finally, the last button allows you to close the stop motion model. Okay. Now that we know all these resources, it's time to try our first exercise. So we are going to create some frames just to show you how the stop motion actually works. In fact, we could say that it's a repetitive process where you set your main characters in one specific position. And then you take a picture, move your characters but just a little, and then take another picture. Then you repeat this process thousands of times until you finish your scene. Remember that the smaller the changes you do in your scene between every picture, the better and fluid your animation will be. Yes, stop motion is about passion and dedication as it is in any other animation technique. But don't worry about that, the results used to be awesome. Note. I recommend you to use one tube file per scene and to export every scene as soon as you finish it. In that way, you will have all the video segments you need to compose your movie. Now, it's time for Thomas and his father to try his first stop motion movie. So, here we go! As an extra tip, I want to show you how you can add special effects to your scenes by including frame-by-frame -frame animation elements in some specific parts of your project. In our case, we added a new layer to our scene and then we create a little explosion using just 4 frames. In order to be deep, we will explore this resource in more detail. Step 4. Final Edition once you have created all the scenes you planned for your project, it's time to merge them as a whole movie. This process must be done from a video editor, where you can add music and sound effects to your short film. We recommend you to try a basic video editor to start, something like Windows Movie Maker or OpenShot. From there, you will be able to import all your scenes into the same timeline and align them with the sound resources you want to include. Then, you can export the whole composition as one video file, usually with extension MP4. The video edition process is another topic that we will expect to explore in depth in future tips. Step 5. The movie premiere. Ok, now that you have finished the post-production process of your short film, it's time to share it to the world. 
so use all your social networks to show off your animation talent. I have the impression that your family and friends are going to love your first movie. By the way, it's time to make an important announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you the first stop motion project made by Thomas and his father. Welcome to the movie premiere of Rescue Squad! Please enjoy it! Can you imagine how many stories you can tell using Lego figures and Tupitu desk? I have to confess that stop motion is one of my favorite animation techniques. By the way, if you are planning to make a Lego movie using Tupitu desk, please let us know. We want to publish your works in all our social networks. Don't forget, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and follow us on our social networks, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, that's all for now. Please keep animating and see you in the next one!